Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it. Let's get some universal messages. These are going to be some telepathy messages uh, from the telepathy oracle deck. We're going to see how the universe is trying to speak to you. What is it trying to ask you? What is it wanting of you? Okay, and embrace Okay, embrace what faith, faith, fate has in store for you. Okay, okay, so it doesn't matter what plans you make in life. It doesn't matter if it's not part of your design destined course, it's not going to happen. So it don't matter who you made dinner plans with, who you decided to have a relationship with, who, where, where, uh, if, if you don't get to go to the mall, if you didn't get to drive that car, get that car, all of that is for a reason. So if you out here making plans and they not working out, just know that, uh, it's not part of your divine course. So embrace what fate has in store for you because you can't escape it. You can do it the easy way or you can do it the hard way. Okay. Barrier. Find ways around obstacles. To find happiness. Okay? So it don't matter what your situation is. You can break through any barrier. Look how this tree grew on top of a tree. And it's the most beautiful thing. Okay? So you can break through any barrier. You can find uh, ways around your obstacles. You can find happiness in any story. In any situation. Okay? Just got to break through those barriers. Whether they be doubt, fear emotional loss, whatever. Okay? Accept. Be prepared to accept what fate has in store for you. I mean, come on. It's been said it twice. Doesn't matter what your plans are. If they're not going, if they're not in alignment with the divine plan, it's not going to work out for you. Okay? Pisces, you got to find a way to be happy. You got to find a way to accept the situations or embrace the situations around you. Like I said, it could go the easy way or it could go the hard way. When you, it's 222 on the clock. When you accept it and flow with it, it makes it a little bit easier. Because when you accept it, you can understand it, you can conquer it, you can move on. But when you fighting against it, everything goes wrong. It takes a lot longer. You're repeating the cycles. And it's just like, Lord, help me learn this lesson. Get me up out of this rut. Break these barriers for me. Give me a breakthrough. So the universe wants you to find ways around your obstacles and, and 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 to find happiness, to be happiness, because that comes from within. Joy comes from within you. You can't find that outside yourself. So whatever whatever obstacles and challenges you have around you, you have to find a way to not let that control you. Okay, something. This is speaking of faith, Pisces. It's time to be on your divine course. All right. It's time to find your purpose here in life. And I believe that you are. That's why the universe is speaking on it. I'm talking about it, screaming it out. Accept your fate. Okay. What else? One more for Pisces. Cupid. Love is in the air when Cupid is around. Okay. Hmm. I was doing the video earlier, but I got a phone call and it totally interrupted my video. Okay. And, um... The universe was speaking on illusions when it comes to love, romance, and relationship. And it was saying like, you know, a lot of, of people, not just Pisces, but a lot of people are in relationships that are an illusion. Basically, like a lot of you are mistaking your fantasies and your lust for that person being a soulmate. It's like, that's not your soulmate. That's a fantasy of yours. Okay. Because they giving you what you want, you know, doesn't mean that that's your soulmate. It just means that they're f feeling something that you crave. They're feeding you what you crave. It's not love. It's a fantasy. It's lust. So don't mistake your fantasies in that person. For that to be your soulmate, okay? But love is in the air when Cupid is around. So, you know, 
flow with that. It's going to come naturally. It's not going to be forced. Okay. You're not going to be uncomfortable. You still going to be able to be yourself. That's how you know when it's a, a divine sent by the divine. If any person comes to you wanting a relationship, wanting to lay down with you, whatever, date you, however, if you feel any thing that disturbs your spirit, know that that is not sent by the divine. Okay, what's crossing the energy look in this marriage? This card tried to come out. It was flipped over in the deck. Okay, but I just went right past it and Cupid came out. So the marriage of a soul is the union of two divine opponents. Okay, so that's basically what I was just mentioning. Like you would know when the divine sends you this person because it'll be natural. It will flow. You will not have to change, bend, or fold. You will not have to be fake. You will be able to truly, authentically be yourself. That's when you know the divine sent it to you. Anything outside of that is not arranged by the divine. So Pisces, this is what the divine is speaking to you. Okay, this is what's going on here. This is what the divine is trying to let you know. It's time to get on your divine course in life. It's time to find your purpose. Go with the flow. Don't fight fate because you can't fight fate. That's the name of this reading. You can't fight, fight fate. You have to find a way to break down barriers. You have to accept this fate for what it is. And maybe you get your heaven on earth. That's when Cupid comes in. When you accept the journey that the universe created for you. When you start fulfilling the deed that you came here for. Okay? So let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's, let's um, clarify these. Okay? Let's see what else the universe is saying about embracing. Okay? Embracing your fate. Seven of earth. Okay? This card says um, investments, assessments, and patience. And look at that angel watching. Okay. You're always being watched and you are not never alone. Okay. So this is like investing into yourself, Pisces, investing into your stability. This is almost like... um you, I, I feel like the universe wants you to invest into yourself because you have to be strong. You have to know who you are, right? That's the only way for this to come easy. Because if you grounded and centered within yourself, nothing outside of you can distract you or deter you from your divine mission. Okay? So embrace yourself. Okay? Pay yourself. Be patient with yourself. Invest into yourself. Okay? Some of you, it's say assessment. So some of you need to step back and take a good look at yourself. Okay? And see yourself for how you want to be. How you imagine yourself to be or what you want. And we have balance here. Okay? And this is like the temperance. Finding your righteous path and more patience. Okay? The card says compromise, self-control, and in moderation. So no overindulges in anything, no obsessing over anything, right? Find that balance within you. When you get that balance within you, you, you start getting on the right track. Your waters are being tested here, okay? 14, number the balance card, uh, temperance number 14, four plus one is five. Five speaks of change, okay? Five speaks of travel, Okay, somebody might be a, a, a number five life path, very adventurous, okay? Get bored easy, can't stay in one place too long, very creative, need space to breathe, need to be free. You need to be free. Some of you are just meant to travel. Some of you are not meant to be put in the box, okay? You have to step back and take a good look at yourself. Put your life into perspective, balance things out. Have patience with yourself. Know who you are. Invest into Pisces. One card at a time, please. So, yes. Okay. And then we have the five of earth. Okay. And the door is open. You know, the door is open for whatever you need. All you got to do is walk through it. Okay. And this speaks of lack and worry and someone in need of assistance. Okay. So asking for help is a sign of strength, okay? Um, it's not a sign of weakness at all in no shape, form, or fashion. That's what I'm getting, 
Okay? Embrace the fact that you were not put here to be alone. Sometimes pride can hurt you. Pride can hurt you. Because don't ever be ashamed to ask for help if you need it. Because that is a sign of strength. Uh, sitting there suffering and knowing that there is assistance out there for you, but you're not willing to accept it or embrace it, then that's when you a fool. Okay? So the universe is saying, man, if you need help, ask for it. It's there. It's available to you. Okay? Some of you are being tested. Okay, but you have to get grounded within yourself. You have to invest it to yourself. Okay, Pisces, you got to find ways to uh, overcome these obstacles and challenges. You got to find ways to be happy even when life is throwing you uh, lemons. You got to make lemonade, right? So you got to, you know, find a way to be happy for a fire. Okay, you got to win. You got to turn all them negatives into positives, right? Have fun in life. Don't sit and dwell on what's hurting you or what you have or don't have, okay? This is prosperity, contentment, and celebration, okay? You got to be good with you. You got to be good with what you have. That contentment is just like, no matter what's going on, I'm okay with me. Nothing's going to bother me. Nothing can break through my barrier of joy, Okay? That's going to be a big achievement for you here with the Four of Wands. That's something that you have to learn to achieve in this lifetime. How to be happy even when the when the world throwing your ass lemons. Okay? When everything is sour or bitter, you got to make it sweet. Okay? You, you got to get creative. Okay? Happiness comes from within. You got to break through those obstacles and barriers that create doubt and fear. Okay, because that's not sent from the divine. Three of water. And this is happy stuff. Okay. The universe is going to be so proud of you, right? It's going to be worth celebrating when you can literally master the art of breaking through doubt and fear and not letting that control you and not letting that hold you back. Being able to face challenges even when everybody around you so negative or uh, picking with you or trying to get a reaction out of you and you turn that shit into butterflies and roses and flowers. <laughs> and it's worth celebrating. Okay, this brings people closer to you too. This strengthens your bond with people as well. Okay, this three of cups speak of celebration, community, and friendships, right? All togetherness, okay? You got to learn how to work with the people around you, right? No matter what they doing, how they make you feel, you can't let that shit affect you. You are an individual. You are your own person. You can't let what other people's opinions of you have such a big impact on you, okay? You got to be stronger than that. You got to have a firm foundation with this four of fire. Okay? You got to build and set boundaries with you, your family, your friends, your partners. Okay? Let's get one card at a time. Okay? What else the universe wants you to know about these barriers? Okay? The page of water. You got to get in tune with yourself, okay? This is being sensitive, open-hearted, and intuitive, okay? And sensitive ain't a bad thing. Sensitivity is basically just feeling things deeply, okay? I'm sensitive to certain shit. I'm sensitive to light. You know, I feel it. I feel it. That's my superpower. That's a gift, Okay, for some of you it's a kryptonite, but it's definitely a gift. It's something that you naturally have in you. You ain't got to work hard for that. Now you open hearted, you, you gracious, you good, right? And your intuition lets you know, okay? So yeah, Pisces, this, this, you got to stop letting your emotions be your kryptonite. You got to use them as a superpower, but you also have to be firm and, and, and set boundaries and build that strong foundation because you're so open-hearted, because it's so easy for somebody to come in and manipulate or exploit. You know what I'm saying? So this is the universe wanting you to be careful. It's like you don't have to see your gifts as some form of hindrance. You have to connect with those gifts because they were given to you for a reason. It's a part of your faith. They have a purpose. 
You have to use them. You have to stop looking at them as your kryptonite. You got to find the balance. Once you find the balance and understand yourself and know yourself, okay, you you, you nothing's gonna be able to stop you. You got to be like, what's that character? Frozen, Anna or Elsa. Conceal, don't feel. You use those power of emotions when you need them. They, they, they're not just to be there blatantly on display or for anybody to come and grab or use. Okay, so you got to get this. You got to get in tune with yourself. You got to understand you and how you work. That's the most important thing. Okay, whatever thing is stopping you, whatever doubt, fear, or challenge, you got to be able to break through that with clarity and certainty of who the fuck you is. Because once you know who you is, it ain't nothing. Once you love yourself, once you in tune with you, ain't nothing nobody outside of you can tell you or do to you. Nothing. Okay, so accept things for what it is. And be prepared to accept what fate has in store for you. So let's see what's in store for you. Because the universe speaking to you, telepathy is trying to tell you something. What's in store for Pisces here? We got the nine of water. And that's wishes and dreams and happiness. Okay? Happiness comes from within, Pisces. That's what the universe is trying to tell you. Once you master the art of, of joy and, and, and you know, knowing that that comes from within... <clears throat> everything will flow to you. Ten of Pentacles. Everything gets a return. Okay? Tenfold. Stability, prosperity, abundance, prosperity, security, and traditions. Okay? It's what the cards say with the Ten of Earth. Okay? So when you begin to once, I, this is what I'm getting. Once you master yourself, invest it to yourself, bring you into balance, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, right? Whatever. Once you can master that, okay? And come up out of lack with that part of your life, part of yourself, okay? Things are going to start moving in a different direction for you. You're going to see a shift in your reality, okay? For those of you who aren't afraid to ask for help, who aren't afraid to pray, who aren't afraid to meditate, who aren't afraid of what the people around or the world around you says or do, know that you got to get it done. So asking for help is a sign of strength. So as long as you can do that, your life, your perspective of life is going to change and show are you. You're going to shift. Okay. When it comes to this barrier it's like you got to have a firm foundation. You got to be strong in who you are. No matter what type of challenges, obstacles, or negativity that come in your way, that enter your life, you have to be strong and firm. Nothing can break down that barrier that you have, okay? That creates more respect for you when you in tune with yourself, okay? You, you, you a good person. You got a good heart, and um, you have to know how to protect that emotional power that you have. Okay, it brings about better friendships, relationships, any type of ship. It makes things better for you. Okay, you have to accept things and people for what they are, but you have to accept yourself for who you are too and know that you are the only thing that matters at the end of the day. Okay, everything you put out, you get back. On your journey, what's faded for you, you're supposed to be happy. You're supposed to be fulfilled. You're supposed to be content. OK, you're supposed to have a strong foundation. You're supposed to have family, friends, love, prosperity and abundance. You ain't supposed to be worried about your livelihood. You're supposed to have all these companions. So once you start walking on the right track, all that just naturally falls into play for you. The universe got it designed that way. It's set up for you. But you could do it the easy way or you could do it the hard way. You could go through life thinking you don't need nobody. You don't want nobody. I ain't asking nobody for shit because every time I ask somebody for something, they, it's a let down and la, 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 la. And that creates something in you that was never you. You understand what I'm saying? So the universe wants you to bring back that balance to your life and stop letting everything outside of you affect what's going on inside of you. So you're going to have to start accepting certain things, Pisces, in order to reach that Ten of Pentacles, to reach your fate, your destined course happily, okay? Page of air, 
Okay. Page of air. This is about being honest. This is about being truthful. Okay. You have to start speaking. You have to work on your throat chakra. Okay. You have to start telling people your truth. Okay. Analytical and outspoken. Right. You just got to be honest and truthful. You got to think before you speak too, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you just have to accept things for what they are. You can't be afraid to speak on them. The more true and authentic you are to yourself, the more grounded you become, the more happier you are. And that joy comes from within. Okay. Once you get alignment with self, love naturally comes to you. It's a, it's an abundance of it. it. It just keeps coming. It never stops. Cupid. Love is in the air when Cupid is around. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Okay. And it's the four of earth. Okay. And um, this card says, uh, can't see, hold on, this reflection. The card says uh, extravagance, control, and um, uh, frugulous, frugulous, I cannot even see it. Can you? <laughs> the reflection of the light, Lord. But anyway, it's the four of earth, right? The number 44. And look, something's locked away. Something's locked, okay? You would never be able to get a partner to hold on to until you find stability within yourself. You got to hold on to yourself. You got to love yourself. And until you learn to love yourself the proper way, you're never going to get through that door, okay? So love is in the air. Love is available to you. Love is all around you. But in order to get that person that's meant for you, you got to be absolutely sure of who you are. Because when you absolutely sure of who you are, you absolutely sure of who you want and what you want out of that person. And you are not willing to bend, break or fold or settle for anything less. And the universe needs you to be in that energy for whatever reason. It needs you to be strong. Okay. It needs you to be on point. It needs you to be who you was meant put here to be, who you meant to be. The true you. The true you is unique. Okay? Don't never second guess yourself. Stop doubting yourself, Pisces. It's time for you to get on your design destined course. That's all what I'm really getting here. The wheel of fortune. Luck, progress, and change. So it's like, you know... It's a cycle you have to go through, right? You have to grow. You have to learn. You have to go through many phases. But luck is on your side. Change is happening. You are progressing. So you're on the right track. A lot of you are right where you're supposed to be. Nothing is by accident. Nothing is coincidental. Nothing is a mistake. Everybody you met in this lifetime, you were supposed to meet. You were supposed to learn something from. Some of them live long lives with you. Some of them come and go. Okay. But there was a lesson in all these faces. There was a lesson in everybody that you met or everybody you had a relationship with. Okay. It was all to teach you and prepare you for the real thing. Okay. But if you can't find it within yourself to invest into yourself and get to know you and be solid in that, you're never going to get your person that the divine design for you because it'll never work even if you do get them it just won't work okay so let's see what else the divine is telling you over here when it comes to love romance and relationships the four of air meditation a recuperation and contemplation okay you got to be a healed person okay you got to find moments of stillness moments of peace moments to yourself okay Okay, you got to find time to connect with the divine so that it can further lead you because the journey is never over. The journey is never over. The journey never ends. Energy never dies. Okay, so you might perish away in this lifetime, but that don't mean you don't exist anymore. So you got to stay connected. Okay, and moments of silence and being to yourself and stillness. Helps you keep that connection with the divine. Okay? Love the divine. Your ass been hit by Cupid's arrow by the divine. divine. The divine is saying, is telling you that he or she loves you. The divine loves you. Okay? The divine wants you to be able to come through this door with ease. The divine wants you to progress 
and 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 change and have an abundance of anything you require. Divine the divine wants you to recover and heal and have those moments with it so that it can lead you. It wants to lead you. It wants to love you, okay? So, what's crossing all this energy is release. Okay? And this is the death card. And it speaks of endings, transformation, and freedom. Free yourself. Free yourself. Free your mind. Okay? Change is required. It's not easy, but it's necessary. Okay? So, Pisces, that's the energy. I hope it resonates. Let's get a word. Let's get a madra. Let's get a madra. Let's see which hand gesture um, we need to use at this time. What hand gestures we need to use at this time to help assist us on the soul's journey? And look, you got relax. This is the relax madra. And it's relevance is to letting it flow. Let it flow. Relax. Go with the flow. Okay? Go with the current. It, you could do it the easy way or you could do it the hard way. You know how hard it is to swim away from the current opposed to letting it lead you to the waterfall but to calmer waters, right? So, um, so uh, firstly, you play puppet on a string. Imagine that your arms and legs have strings attached, which, op which is operated from above. R raise your arms and legs and then whistle, breathing out. You slowly and gently sink into the ground like a limp uh, marriott. Then you let yourself be pulled up again. Then you collapse again. Repeat this several times and don't let your mind wonder whether it looks odd. Now perform the madra either in a sitting position or lying down. While you are forming it, you breathe out several times, long and deeply, while gentle waves wash around you and carry you super flawless tension and carry the super flawless tension out of the out into the sea. The uh, guidance here is soft, warm water relaxes and caresses me. So this is a relaxing madra. The, you, the universe wants you to chill out. It wants you to start going with the flow. Stop resisting change. Just go with it. Accept your fate. Accept your fate, baby. You can do this the easy way or you can do it the hard way. Either way is going to happen. So why not let it happen and you can be happy in the process. So that's the energy, Pisces. I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom Woo! to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, you got the fourth chakra and it's the heart chakra. And this one is relevant to compassion and forgiveness. Okay. I have compassion for myself and for those around me. I let go of anger, resentment, and torments from the past, and I do not give my power away to those involved. Forgiveness is a gift I give to myself uh, for things I feel I could have done differently in the past, and I remind myself that my response could not have been any more evolved than it was at the time. I am compassionate to those in need as this shows them that they are not alone. I practice this by listening, sharing, understanding, and being of service. So compassion and forgiveness is the positive of energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.